From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it's still cold outside and it's going to be cold over the next several nights, but gone is the word bitter or frigid. It's just plain old cold now. No wind chill. That's the good news, but a hard freeze more than likely for tonight, perhaps again tomorrow night before we see a definitive warming trend as we head into the weekend. So let's look at the big picture because we have all this cold over the eastern two thirds of the US and sooner or later it's going to manifest into a big storm system and we're seeing that with the jet stream dipping down a disturbance uh, that moved through late last night that produced our snow flurries now manifesting in a very strong storm that a lot of you hear a lot of folks saying it's bombing out. It is kind of like atmosphere TNT because it is a powerful storm system that has produced snow from Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, five inches of snow in Charleston and more snow flying across portions of the Carolinas all the way up through the East Coast. And uh, check this out. Blizzard warnings from uh, portions of North Carolina up through the Jersey, Jersey Coast and then uh, New England as well for up to 15, perhaps 18 inches of snow and blowing snow and bitterly cold temperatures and high winds. That's what gives you a blizzard inland, farther inland winter storm warnings and then back to the west. Wind chill advisories for wind chills sub zero for us, at least after the snow flurries. They were very brief and very light that moved on through between 11 o'clock last night, and one o'clock in the morning. They have moved out and we have mostly clear skies. Temperatures this morning, thanks to the clouds last night, held us up. You can see where it cleared out sooner up towards central Louisiana, where we saw lower 20s, got into the lower 40s this afternoon. Now we're holding generally around freezing or slightly below. We do favor mid 20s for your low for tonight. And the bigger story, 32 in Lafayette, but look at this calm wind. So there's not a wind chill factor, a little bit of a factor, but not the way it was this morning or the last couple of days. So certainly great news there. Also this time of year, I crunched the numbers going back to the previous year, and I was kind of shocked by the numbers this year. 2017 goes down in the record book as the warmest year on record, and our records go back to 1893 for the last 124 years. And since 1941, we keep observations out at the airport, so they're nice and consistent. So we look at the mean temperature. That's the average of all the highs and the lows during the course of the year, average to Together and the mean temperature, this is what you pay your utility bill on, was 71.6, which beat 2016, which was previously the warmest year on record uh, last year. And notice this, uh, four out of the last six years, going back to 2012, are in the top seven warmest years on record. No matter what you think the cause is, we are getting warmer, and the main culprit are these overnight lows. We're not cooling off at night the way we used to in years past, and especially in the summer. And daytime highs this summer weren't too terribly high. You can see 80.6 on the average. We've had hotter summers where we've had more mid-90s and upper 90s. Not so the past couple of years because we had wet years as well. Uh, our average rainfall is about 60 or 62 inches of rain. So in spite of wet years, we're still warming up. Now, uh, whatever way you want to take that or whatever you think the reason, the numbers here don't lie. So here we go with your forecast. Overnight tonight, it will be clear. It will be chilly temperatures in the 20s, minus much of a wind chill. Then tomorrow at lunchtime, lower 40s, still plenty of sun. And then tomorrow afternoon, drive time looks nice and clear as well. And going into Friday morning, we're going to see some high clouds overnight tomorrow night through Friday morning. So that may hold our temperatures up a little bit tomorrow night, uh, but we're going to play mid to upper 20s again. Farther down the road, not too early to look at the weekend, mostly sunny skies, but going into Sunday, return flow coming from the Gulf means it will be milder. Chance of showers and storms, especially Sunday night into early Monday with the next front. But the next ridge of high pressure that moves in is going to be more of Pacific of origin, so it's not going to be as cold. Another Arctic outbreak, but this one looks to bypass most of us off to the north uh, nine or ten days down the road. So we'll watch that, and then we could see another wet weather system system a week from this Friday, but uh, that's pretty much in fairy tale land. What you will watch, here's the freezing line, this wider line. Notice as we move through the days, through the weekend and beyond, 
those freezing temperatures kind of retreat off to the north, so we will see milder temperatures in the near term. Overnight tonight, though, it's going to be chilly. Mid-20s, lower 20s off to the north, mid-20s I-10 corridor, and mid-20s coastal parishes as well, so no major changes there. So a hard freeze again, clear skies, light winds. 24, I think, might be the lowest we go. We might be milder than that. 47 the high for tomorrow, so lots of sunshine, almost a heat wave out there for tomorrow. And as we go down the road, we'll see temperatures gradually getting into the 50s. Overnight lows still in the freezing zone, at least through Saturday morning or a frost. And then after that, it looks a little bit milder, but we'll cool off again next week. But temperatures certainly more seasonable. And finally, I see a 70 degree reading in the 10 day forecast. <laughs> and that always makes me feel better because I'm not a fan of the cold. I, I lived in upstate New York yeah. for seven years. I came down here for, for this. For a reason. For a reason, <laughs> for sure. Thanks, Rob. And still ahead on KTC, you may have.